So um, I decided that we wanted to kind of um, uh, do a little childhood medley because as you get older and, and you sing these songs, you find these songs as adults that you're playing for kids in your life, they have such meaning of uh, hope and inspiration um, and that the world is just in front of you. And so uh, I thought I'd, I'd put some of these together and, um, and come up with our little childhood medley. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin, traveling in the world of my creation. Take what we see. What we see will defy explanation. If you want to view paradise. Simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it. Want to change the world? There's nothing to it. When I was doing Annie, pretty much all the shows had the same schedule. So a lot of people used to ask me, well, what shows did you see when you were on Broadway? Well, mine. But there was one, Peter Pan, that got to play um, on Sunday night. So the Annie kids used to sneak in sometimes in the standing room section and watch. Um, and that was kind of the fun of it. But clearly, that experience stayed with me because to this day, I sing this song to my boys. I know a place where dreams are born and time was never planned. It's not on any chart. You must find it with your heart. Never, never land. It might be miles beyond the moon or right there where you stand. Just keep an open mind and then suddenly you'll find Never, never land. Now, when I first met Jerry, the very first day, he was wearing this green Izod shirt, and he had the bowl haircut that you saw in the pictures. And for some reason, he just reminded me of Kermit the Frog. <laughs> I don't know, my but hero. he. He had such great confidence, he just sort of pointed at me and said, you're my friend, this is how it's gonna be, and that's how it's been for the last 30 years. But that confidence and that, that just um, self-awareness and self-assurance both on and off the stage, I think really helped him as he grew up different than those around him. It's not that easy being green. <laughs> Having to spend each day the colors of the leaves When I think it could be nicer Being red or yellow or gold Or something much more sparkly like that But green's the color of spring to be. Now, when I 
met Randall, and I was an 11-year-old boy, into musical theater, I was obsessed that she was, you know, just had just really kind of just come from uh, Broadway and, and played Annie and played one of the lead orphans. And, and uh, as much as she didn't want to, I asked her to uh, sing this one tonight. Maybe far away, or maybe real nearby. He's sitting pouring her coffee. She's sitting straightening his tie. Maybe in a house all hidden by a hill. She's sitting playing. Of me, so maybe now it's time, and maybe when I wake, they'll be there calling me, baby, maybe. Oh 